I had the best dream. What did? Sorry, I, I really don't, uh, I'm not her, whoever she is. Yes, you were in my dream. You told me it'd be all right, and it was. You helped me wake up. You're mistaken. I don't even own a dream machine. I couldn't possibly have been in your dreams. It was you, you were there. I don't use it much anymore. The dream machine, most of the time I say no, just like you told me to. I read instead, I'm reading a lot. The book I'm reading right now is about this girl who's dreaming, but doesn't know she's dreaming. I'm worried about Mum. She's always in dream time. She prefers that to being awake. She doesn't eat much, or go outside, ever. Thank you for helping me. Uh, Zoe, right? Thank you, Zoe. Uh, how do you... I didn't... What? What the hell was that all about? I don't know her. She looks so familiar, but I haven't I haven't seen her before. I'm certain of it. Gone to restock, back soon. Odd. Nayla doesn't typically leave her cart during peak business hours. She usually restocks first thing. Food crates. It's how Nayla gets her daily deliveries. I heard Caprova Street used to be one of the main thoroughfares before the latest construction work in Propass. It's also where the metro station's located. Where on the map is Caprova? Why, that's a pretty scary neighborhood, doll. Keep your eyes peeled and your hands on your six shooters. Draw! Y'all come back anytime now, you hear? Kaiser Constantine and European Dawn. Fascists, isolationists, populists. If they win, Europolis is, well, bollocked. Constantine Wolf envisions himself a back-to-basics father figure for a united Europe, embracing traditional values and ethnic purity. I've heard that particular pitch before. Liberty from corporate tyranny.
Look, Adse, I said I'd do my part. That is exactly what you said. But I have to draw the line somewhere. I'm all about shifting the balance of power, huh? About getting the Bonza to think twice. Not about fucking shit up just for the sake of fucking shit up. That's not what I signed up for. I want to pick up my supplies and get back to feeding the barrio. If I can convert some sozis and pattern heads while I'm at it, great. If not, I move on. That don't sound like someone's committed to the course. Oh, fuck off. I'm delivering as promised, no? I'm getting a friend to source me the nanotech. She has special access, a couple of days, week at most. But with the eye poking into my affairs, committing random acts of personal violation, drones and checkpoints everywhere, Time to tread a little more cautiously, lest we find ourselves bereft of food, card, food, and freedom. Anything else you need me for, brother, I'm all game. I remember you saying you'd walk the walk, not just talk the talk. I need to draw my line somewhere, and this is where I draw it. Whatever, as long as you deliver. Kolo, seriously, when do I not? Puta Dupek, what are you doing here? I was just... you weren't at the cart, so I went looking. You went looking? Are you spying on me, Zike? Jesus, Ensparnella, no. I wanted to ask you about Hannah Roth. Hannah? Hannah? What the hell for? I need to find her. That doesn't answer my question, and you won't find her. She's... Shayas, I just stop. Stop looking, stop asking, and stop following me. This is not something you want to get involved in. Just let it go, and go. Get out of here. You're not going to find Hannah, and you're not going to ask me about her again. Go! Get the fuck out of here! Madame Nix. She's famous. I've heard of her. Weren't you heading out of district this week? Yeah, but the I revoked my travel pass last minute. I'm stuck here, Bruder. That's actually happening. And uh, I thought it was just rumors. It's happening. And not just me. Half of our team is stuck. We're running circles trying to find out who to send to Berlin. Second Christ, what's going on? I'm thinking the elections. The Blues trying to stay in control for as long as possible. I don't see it. The Alliance may be weak, but they're not stupid. I'm sure it's just the commies causing a racket. Provoking the Syndicate. Oi, hey, Atza. Anais is a Marxist. Seriously? Christ reborn, Bruder. I've been telling you, you need to cut your losses there. Can we help you with anything? What do you want, Hoka? Mr. London ain't too happy with how you're messing about in his barrio, Sozy. <sighs> Easy, cousin. I ain't your not... cousin, mate. I ain't your mate, neither. Mr. London says you ain't never asked for his blessings, Colo. Mr. London, he ain't too happy about that, him. Mr. London says it's disrespectful. Tell Mr. London that I'm not messing with anything. I'm just running a political campaign. Maybe if we could have a civil discussion about this, instead Oi. of... Essie, you talk to me, not to Mr. London. No one talks to Mr. London. And there's no discussion to be had. We have no use for your commie comrades in protest. In this barrio, we vote Wolf. Oh, I see what's going on. This isn't about TEF or respect, is it? 
It's about Kaiser Constantine and his Fascio army. How much is he paying you, brother? Upset that Leia Uminska is not willing to stoop to his level and pay you off? You're just a cheap crook, London! Hey! Let him go! Wait, what was that me? Otherwise, don't get involved, Suka. You just get your press messed up. Wouldn't look too good with a broken piff, eh? I didn't understand any of that, but if you don't let him go, I'm calling the police. A pala? Shy some in there. You think the police are going to interfere? Do you know who this is? This is Mr. London. And he owns the buller in Propast. Now fuck off before I get total anger pissed and decide to... 我寧願當井底之王亦都唔願做海嘅奴僕無論什麼武器都黐入我可以保護你不受任何傷害我的長矛和傷人話封你無比我寧願什麼一次就穿將你的敵人直行打倒為地上我不 don't speak Cantonese。你有一個什麼都無法刺穿的銅牌,同埋一個 just just let him go. Please. He's harmless. And let that be a lesson to you, Kutas. This is Mr. London's barrio. And the sooner you get that through your cocoa, the less mal you'll need to deal with. Jesus, Baruti, are you okay? I think so. Thanks for speaking up, Zoe. I appreciate it. Although, I'm not sure it was the smartest thing to do. You're on his radar now. I couldn't just stand by and watch. Are you sure you're all right? I am. But I'm not going anywhere tonight. I'm just going to watch Leia stream not from the office. Do you need anything? You don't have to stay here by yourself, you know. I can stay or you can come home with me. I'm fine, Sissy. Really. They were just trying to scare me. <laughs> Mission accomplished. They're not coming back. Not today, at least. We can worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay. About Queenie and... Let's talk about that tomorrow, too. Right now, eh, I just want to sit down with a cup of hot tea and enjoy a rousing speech. I understand. But, Baruti, please lock the door and ring if there's anything. I won't argue with you there. See you on Thursday, Sissy. Take care, Baruti. Frida. She's on the dreamer all the time. Like non-stop. 
Entspann, Bruder, it's geil. It's bomb. Don't get your cags all twisted. Idiot, I'm being serious. I'm shattered from being the only one taking care of the kids. So just buy them a dream machine. They'll think it's mega guy. Not helpful, cousin. Not helpful at all. I'm not about to expose them to dream time at their age. I don't trust what it called. They're not legal. You know what your problem is, Tsiomar? You worry too much. Hmm? Learn from me. It's all super bomb. There's no conspiracy. That's all in the past. Maybe, but can I do that? It's not bomb. I see what it does to Frida. She's not Chango in the Coco. This thing's messing with her psyche. I I'm fertile, Gatsu. I want out. Hey, wanna join us at the Rada later? They're playing great sound there. It's like they're... Weren't you heading out to district this week? Yeah, but the R revoked my travel pass last minute. That right there is why I don't use a dream machine and why I think they're so dangerous. So I says to him, I says, so you can't pass through here, Bruder. You need to turn back and head home. So what did he do? He turned back and headed home. Well, that's it. That's your story. Hey, look. A day without excitement is a good day in my book. Well, fair enough. General Consumer Goods would like to remind you not to stare directly at our sun, as it may cause blindness and tumors. Zanechte prosím vaše odpady. Hey. Oh, smells good. What are you making? Risotto. Come over here. I got you. Mm, nice to see you too. I needed that. Why? What's going on? We had a real scare at the campaign office. What happened? Baruti got pushed around by Mr. London's goons and London himself. Jesus, is he okay? He's fine. He's probably fine. How about you? Are, are you okay? I'm okay. They didn't touch me. But you got involved? I had to. I couldn't just let them do that to Baruti. I really wish you'd stayed out of it. You don't know what those people are capable of. They're just cowards. Cowards with the might of the Syndicate behind them. Still just cowards. Look, I'll be okay. They wanted to scare Baruti. Nothing's gonna happen. They're not gonna come after me. How was your day? Not as interesting as yours. I published that bingo piece. Now I'm following up the leads on the clampdown. It's getting ridiculous out there. Everyone's on edge. I know the campaign work is important to you, but you need to be careful about getting involved in local affairs. Even Sully doesn't want us to write too much about what's happening here in Propast. If you stop reporting things because you're afraid of what will happen, you're censoring yourself. We need to pick our battles. Like that Mr. London business. He shakes businesses down, runs the local black market, bad, sure, but not corporate level bad, or Kaiser Constantine bad. I guess. I'm not happy about it either, but sometimes you need to let the small fish go in order to catch the bigger fish. I get that. Maybe I'm an idealist. We both are, but I'm also a realist. And I really wish you'd drop the campaign work. Hey, come over here and taste this. I don't like his tone. It's not the first time we've had this argument and I'm I'm tired. I want to have a quiet evening. I should just let it go. 
I don't like his tone, and it's not the first time we've had this argument. Sometimes Reza can be so controlling. I don't like it. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. I just... I know he doesn't understand why I'm volunteering. I can't say I understand it either. Politics was never me. I wish he'd be supportive, regardless. I don't understand it, but I need it. He's never been supportive of the campaign work, but I don't want to fight. It won't lead anywhere good. And I don't even understand why it's so important to me. But it makes me feel better about myself, like I'm being proactive, making a difference. I know he doesn't... I wish you were more supportive. It's not even like you're that invested in the politics. I know you want to stay busy and... Stay busy? You think that's all it is? A distraction? I don't want you to end up getting hurt again. I, I spent a year thinking you might die. I don't... I don't... I don't want that again. You'd rather I sit at home and watch Euro trash? How is it? It's good. Really good. I can't wait to eat. I'll pay you back afterwards. For what? Cooking the best dinners, being the best boyfriend, knowing how to make me feel better. Mm, do we have to wait until after dinner? Won't the risotto be ruined? Is that important? Not in the slightest. Don't just say you love me, sure.